Hey guys, Karibo Bros here, coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Dual Deck Profile. So this one is Dark Necrophia Ritual Turbo. So the basic premise of the deck is advanced ritual art is quite good for dumping vanilla monsters into the graveyard. To summon a Dark Necrophia, we need three fiends in the graveyard. <coughs> the ritual side of the deck, obviously we play, we, we, we play one copy of Relinquished and one copy of Magician of Black Chaos. Sphere Kribo is another fiend itself and works in tandem with being able to summon out Relinquished as a ritual, uh, for the ritual tribute summon. So we'll go through the deck and I'll just explain to you how it works. I mean, I essentially just have, but yeah. <laughs> so we play the three boss monsters of the deck. We got one Dark Necrofit. <clears throat> Special summon this card from your hand by banishing three fiend monsters from the graveyard. If this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card during, during the end phase of the turn, it is destroyed. You can equip this card to a monster they control and take control of the monster that this card is equipped to. One copy of Magician of Black Chaos and for the last ritual monster, the one copy of Relinquished. <coughs> So when I was looking into making this deck, I was I was debating on whether to play the uh, the skill for Blackluster Soldier and Magician of Black Chaos, as they offer them some sort of pseudo protection. But then I was reading over the skills and thought, nah, they are quite crap. The reason we play uh, Ritual Ceremony is because w when we have one of these two ritual monsters in hand, we can search out advanced ritual art and use that to dump the three, uh, the well, two of the fiends we need uh, engraved to get Magician of Black Chaos out. And then later on, we'll hopefully have a, th a third fiend in the graveyard to summon Dark Necrophy. Now, I really hope we do get a level one and a level two um, fiend normal monster soon, because that way we can start uh, using advanced ritual art in this deck to summon out Relinquished more often than not. So at the moment, we are using Relinquished's own um, Relinquished's own ritual spell to summon himself out. Now, as I say, if we do get a level one fiend mon normal monster soon, I can. I can tinker with the deck so we can play more copies of Advanced Ritual Art to dump more copies of Fiends. So we could dump a four, a three, and a one. We'd have three copies just to summon this, and then we'd have the three copies required to summon this on hand. So if anyone knows Matt Bell personally, just uh, just tell him I really want a level one Fiend normal monster in the next set, please. So they're the three boss monsters of the deck. Uh, moving on, we play three copies of Gilgarth. He's the 1800 beat of vanilla of the deck. Um, is also graveyard uh, re resource material for advanced ritual art. <clears throat> Play two copies of Whiptail Crow. This is the second best uh, four star vanilla fiend monster in the deck. Sixteen fifty attack and sixteen defense. As I say, we just send um, we can just send two of these. And that's eight stars that require for black uh, magician of black chaos. <clears throat> Play two copies of Mad Reloader. So you set this card when it's destroyed by battle. You can send two cards from your hand to the graveyard to draw two cards. At first, I was playing around with Dark Mimic, which is also a level one fiend. However, Dark Mimic only draws one when it's flipped. Uh, this helps me helps us cycle through the deck uh, with an extra card and dump two uh, potential fiend monsters engraved to summon out Dark Necrophir. We do play three copies of Senju of the Thousand Hands, so we can just search out the uh, the ritual monsters as quickly as possible, and then we can use Ritual Ceremony to get the uh, to get a ritual spell from deck to hand, so we can play this and go plus two in one turn. Moving on, we play three copies of Sphere Karibo. As I say, um, it's another Fiend Dark, so we can also ditch this to prevent our opponent from killing us and feed, the, uh, feed up the graveyard to summon out Dark Necrophere, as well as then use Black Illusion Ritual to summon Relinquished using this as the, gra uh, as the, as the graveyard uh, ritual material. <coughs> Playing two copies of A Lower Darkness. Um, I do like A Lower Darkness in normal Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's really weird in Speedle because... Obviously, you have less resources in general because the games are on a much smaller scale than normally you get essentially halved. Um, we don't mind banishing some fiends, but we, we, we're mainly just using this to power through the deck to see either the Ritual Monster or Dark Necrophere. Um, it doesn't hurt as much to banish your fiends, but it's just not ideal because generally we'll have the fiends in Graveyard eventually to bring out Dark Necrophere. But uh, at Lower Darkness, it's uh, it probably will get replaced if we do soon get a better draw card in the game. And then we play for the last two spells in the deck, making it a 20 card deck. Uh, one copy of Black Illusion Ritual and one copy of Advanced Ritual Art. So we can only search one of these with Ritual Ceremony. We have to draw the other one naturally. Most of the time we are going to search Advanced Ritual Art off this. And then Grind Game, we're probably going to use this to take our opponent's uh, big monster with Relinquished. Going on to the side deck, we have a very generic, really. Um, as I say, the format's still developing, so we don't know what the best deck is at the moment. So this current side deck only contains two Night Beam, Back Row Removal, 
Uh, two tribute to the Doom. Now this card's pretty good in this deck because we can get rid of a, a bigger, th a big threat our opponent has while uh, while feeding our graveyard with fiend monsters. And lastly, two copies of Ready for Intercept and simply because I feel like Relinquish is going to Relinquish and Thousand Eyes Restrict are going to be quite popular this format. Moving on to the extra deck, we don't really ever use it. We could maybe tinker the deck to maybe include Thousand Eyes Restrict, but at the moment it is just an awful flexor deck. Three copies of Thousand Eyes Restrict, one of Meteor B Dragon, Blue Eyes Ultimate, and Arcane and Night Joker. A uh, quick deck profile, not a long video. Let me know what you think of the deck below. Uh, try it out yourself, and if you can think of any improvements, please let me know. And let's please petition to get a level one vanilla fiend in the next set. Thank you.